It's your me, Ariana. You know what the fuck going on. I'm interviewing live with Fuchsia TV, the best. And you already know we lit. You ain't nervous, is you? You ain't about to? No, fuck no. <laughs> right, that's all I like to hear. Yeah. I just be forgetting my lyrics for real. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, who we got on Future TV right now? You got Young Mia Ariana. You already know what the fuck going on. That's what's up. This is an honor right here. You know, I posted your freestyles on my page, uh, the Roddy Rich one, and what was the other cat name? Um, um, Filthy Rich. Oh yeah, Filthy Rich. Yeah. Yeah, and them jumps went viral, over mm -hmm. fifteen thousand uh, views. So you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, how you feel about the love you've been receiving from the people? I really like love the love. Like I really appreciate it so much. Y'all understand like. Of course, you don't really know me, but like I'm really like a kind-hearted person, like mad cool, outgoing. Like I love support. Like I'm not the type of person that you come up to and I'll be like, oh, get out of my face. I'm like, I'm the type of person you come up to. I'm act like I've known you for like mad long. So I really, really appreciate it, and it's really just the beginning. Like y'all only seeing the beginning. Y'all haven't even heard what I got in store. So yeah, but I really appreciate all the love so much. Like for real. For real. Okay, now let's start from the um beginning. Like where, where are you from? I'm from Rochester, New York, but I was raised in Charlotte. So I've been here for about nine years. Nine years. So what was the reason about, um, behind you moving from New York to Charlotte? Was it like family? Well, my cousins then moved first. And then um, my mom moved because she had a um, like better job opportunity. And plus, my um, it was like less violence from where we was from. Okay. Because we was from the block. Yeah, yeah. Most of <laughs> I already know how New York give it up. <laughs> so like, was you doing music when you was in New York? Or when you moved to Charlotte, you started doing music? I mean, like... I was always in a choir. I used to always sing in a choir, but like, um, that was it. Like, I just sung in a choir. Like, that was all. But I was always into music, though, like, all the time. Okay, so you said you were singing back in the day. Was you rapping, or was you just No, like I was singing? not rapping. Okay, at that's all. Crazy. I was just singing. <laughs> that's crazy. So, like, who were some of your um, inspirations growing up? Number one, Beyonce. I mean, it was Destiny's Child. And then Beyonce, like, she just never stop grinding but right now for real for real it's cardio of rick yeah like just because we seen everybody seen where she came from like anybody that that's like that was really tuned in into the reality tv or like you know like just anybody that's really tuned into some like shit that's just some normal shit like some reality shit know that cardi put on for motherfuckers like she yeah. got it out the mud and we watched her it's not like she just saying it because a lot of people say where they got it from but we ain't really see you feel me but Cardi really got it out of the mud. We watched her get it. We watched people, like, turn her down. That's what gave me motivation. Like, oh, yeah. you could tell me, you no know, all day, but it's cool because I know where I'm going to go. I know where I'm going to be. Like, you can act funny in school, but she sh like she set that example because we seen that show on national TV, how motherfuckers acted funny towards her. Now she's, damn, like, she, like, number one female artist right now. Like, yeah, so you rather, you rather, like, have motivation from her than Nicki Minaj? You feel, you feel like Nicki Minaj had, like, a clean the slate like she ain't really get turned down that much she kind of had mean, it easier yeah we didn't really see it like yeah, i can't yeah, yeah. i can't say what she got turned down on or not but we didn't really see it well i didn't see it at all so yeah i'm seeing what i seen like i'm 20 so i was into the reality shit watching love and hip-hop and shit and i'm watching cardi i'm like damn they turn her down and shit now what if she really pop i was saying that whole time like now what if she really pop now she pop now everybody looks stupid yeah and i feel like that's how people want to be with me because i know i'm going to pop you feel me like I know for a fact it's not even about staying humble. It's like I'm humble, Confident. but it's yeah, it's it's like what I know I'm gonna do. So to all the people that's like, oh, mm, you know, like people don't really want to work with artists that's like just coming up. They feel like they gotta put in too much work. Yeah, feel me? But no, I'm gonna put in that work myself at the end of the day. Most definitely. So how long you been doing this? Like really doing this shit? Like recording yourself, putting your money into it? Like how long you been doing? It? 
Well, for real, for real, only like six months. Six if, months. Yeah. Yeah, because like, like you came months. out of the blue with it. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, who's she? I ain't never seen her around. <laughs> so, like, how would you um describe your sound, though? My sound, oh, like, my sound is hard to explain. Like, I'm a rapper, but I started off as a singer. So, like, I would explain my sound as a melody. Yeah. I could go hardcore rap, but since I'm a singer, I always end up just, like, having a melody. It's never, like... Like that. But I mean, my sound is just everything to me. I think my sound is beautiful. And you got your own sound too. Thank you. Which um go which about to carry over to the next question. Like what you think is gonna separate you from all the other females? Cause there's a lot of female rappers out here doing their thing right now. Mm -hmm. I know you see it. Um try to be cash doll. Uh, who else? Asian doll. So, like, what separates you from all the other artists like that? Well, first of all, what se separates me is that I sing and rap. And I started off singing. A lot of females don't sing and rap. They might try to sing and rap, but they don't really full blown sing. So. Yeah. And then on top of that, like, I'm just, I just feel like I'm different or rich. Like, I don't, I don't compare myself to nobody. I really just compare myself to myself. So, yeah. like. If I don't do something right, I'm like, yo, remember when you used to do this? Like, I talk to myself. Yeah. So, like, I'm like, yo, remember you used to do this? Like, how like how you did this? So, you should do this like that. Or you could do this better because you could do that. Don't, I'm not crazy. I, that's just what I do. Yeah. And, I like, one thing I, I um, looked at was, like, in some of your songs, like, you didn't really talk about, like, the sexual shit. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. what a lot of females talk about. Mm -hmm. um, what's the reason behind that? <laughs> so, you know, they say... Set sale, you yeah, know what I'm saying? That's our secret, but um, you don't really... Well, actually, like, my producer, um, my first producer, Jay Stacks, that was, like, my loyal producer, he um made me come out of my shell, because, like, I would just talk about positive shit, like, because I was raised good by my mom. Like, she didn't play that shit. Yeah, yeah. So I was always like, damn, am I allowed to talk about this? So I would always keep it, like, you know, like, I would always keep it rated PG, like, well, yeah. whatever, like, but... I just came out of my shell. I talk about it like now sometimes, but I'm more like like when I come off at like when I meet a dude, I'm not just like no no yeah what up uh, get for me. I'm more like what up nigga you want freestyle? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so like I mean that's just how it is. Like I don't have no problem with talking about it though. Yeah, like yeah. but it's just like that's not the first thing that comes to mind. Well, first thing that comes to mind because I feel like I'm a nigga at heart. So first thing that comes to mind is nigga you fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> Straight up, not like nigga, you fucking don't fuck you, nah. I'm gonna fuck you up, my nigga. Like, yeah. Straight up. So you would you say like you like um like kind of tomboyish growing up? I mean, I mean, all of my sisters kind of was. Yeah, yeah. So like, I mean, I just was like, I I just always been aggressive, but I feel like I got that from my mother because she's aggressive, like. She be getting attitude and she be trying to figure out why me and my sisters getting attitude. I'm like, cause you got an attitude. Like, yeah. we get an attitude from you. So, Fact, so, I just feel like, nah, I really feel like I'm aggressive. So, people know their boundaries. Like, I don't want to be too sweet. Then people start trying to take advantage. Cause I'm, I am a sweet and kind of, like I told you, I'm a kind hearted person. So, I'm a, my aggressive side comes in when I'm just not meeting a person because I don't want you to take that for granted. Like, yeah. it's not going to always be like that if you fuck me up. Like, my nigga. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, most no. Time. I know it carries over to the music too, like as far as like you wanting to get shit done and telling people, you know, this is what it is, because you know, females, we, people look at females like they can get over on them and yeah. stuff like that. So, I mean, it carries over. Yeah, it definitely does. Like, I done dealt with that so many times, like or just like even trying to go to the studio, dudes don't know how to just do music. Like they wanna, damn, get into other shit. Yeah. But then again, it's like yo. I'm over here paying for studio time. Well, I don't pay for studio time no more, but like, when I used to pay for studio time, it's like, I'm paying for studio time, and you still on my face trying, trying to flirt with me. My nigga, no. That that's not hard, how shit works. That's the hard part of the Like, issue? yeah, because it's just yeah. like, yo, let me be, let me feel comfortable. Let me do my music the way I want to do it, like, without feeling uncomfortable, especially if I'm paying, like, my nigga, what is you doing? Ain't no flirting going on, my nigga. Get to your fucking job. <laughs> Facts. I like up. that. I like that. <laughs> Now what's next for you though? Like what you you about to come out with it? Um, a mixtape? Anything? Yeah, I am about to come out with a mixtape. I was telling my manager that like, cause he was like, yo, you need to drop a mixtape. But I'm like, yo, honestly, like G shit though. Like for the new upcoming artists, like, like it's a generation now. Nobody care. Like you could drop a song with no visuals and like 
most people won't even fucking get into it unless you're already popping, like yeah. unless they already know your shit hot. But if you drop a fucking song with a visual and you a new upcoming artist, more people are gonna get into it because they can see your personality, they see how you act, they can just get into it. I don't know, visuals just matter nowadays, yeah, yeah. like Especially unless you already popping. Like it's not even point of dropping an album for real, for real if you're not even like really already hot. Because yeah. it's like nobody's gonna tune into all of that shit. Yeah. Because they don't know if you hot, and if, even if like they listen to one or two, they're like, alright, that's enough. I feel like it's a new artist. You know, you not you you ain't been somebody I've been fucking with. That's why I'm not dropping no album. If I drop an EP, it's gonna be like three songs. Yeah. But so it's gonna be like pop, R and B, and hip hop because I do all of that. Okay, so you got music videos coming, like a lot of yeah. music videos coming. Okay. Definitely, I have so many songs recorded like right now, but everything comes with time. So. Like, I just want to drop everything accordingly. Like, I don't want to rush shit because then I don't want to give people too much. Then they lie, I'm tired of this bitch. Yeah, yeah. You're not going to ever get tired of fucking me, first of all. First to fuck off, you're not going to get tired of me. I'm not going to let you get tired of me, so I'm going to do the right thing. But I'm not going to drop too much at once. Okay. Is there anybody you want to work with? Hell yeah. The baby, of course. <laughs> I know. The baby. Yeah, we'll, we'll work. We'll yeah. work. But I definitely want to work with um, Roddy Rich. Like, oh. we have the same flow. Like, we just got the same flow. Like, I really fuck with that nigga. Like, when I first heard his song, like, I was like, damn. Like, it was Die Young that I heard first. Like, yeah. I want to die young, but I got to ride with one. I'm like, damn, that yeah, nigga flow like, crazy. So y'all, y'all flow like the same. Like, yeah, like, like rapping and singing. And right, singing. like, it's like he rapping, but he really harmonizing. Like, like I really fuck with that nigga. Like, I ain't even no groupie. I'm a fan of his music, though, but that shit go dumb. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, that shit be having me like, yeah, I ain't trying to die young, so I got a problem with one. Yeah. That's up. Catch your shit. <laughs> now, when, oh, yeah. you, when you make your songs, you know what I'm saying? Like, what what's three things you need in the studio? Okay. <laughs> I used to need my hookah, but I had people getting on me like, yo, you need to stop smoking hookah? Like, because I don't smoke weed. Oh, okay. So Never in your life? I mean, I have before, but okay. I just, it's not for me. Okay. But, like, so, like, everybody be smoking. It's not even that everybody be smoking. It's just sometimes I get frustrated, like, because I'm impatient. And I get frustrated. Somebody make me, I'm, I can get mad quick. Somebody make me mad, like, I be needing something to chill. And I can't always get drunk, so hookah is, like, my best friend. But I be having to chill on that, too, because it could fuck up your waist as well, because I'm a singer. Oh, yeah. But, like, three things. Hookah, my phone. And maybe something to drink Or like maybe a good First of all Good vibes come first I don't like that negative shit Do you like a lot of people In the studio with you Or are you just like It depends okay. It depends on If that studio has a separate booth Okay Because some studios Like I have reported With Daraj Google And his um, He a producer out of Atlanta And his studio is like Everything is in one room So I would not like it. No a lot of people can't be in there Because one You can't even talk While I'm recording Two I'm, you, everybody staring at me. I don't like everybody staring at me when I'm recording. Yeah. So, no. But if it's like a closed off room, it could be as many people in there. Because I want, I want them to hear this fire shit. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. They can follow me at M-I-A dot A-R-I-A-N-N-A-A. Me and Ariana. On Instagram, on Facebook, you can follow me at, I mean, find me at Mia Ariana. On Google, you can find me at Mia Ariana. And on YouTube, you can find me at me and Ariana. And my Twitter, I think it's me and Ariana too, but I really don't get on there. And, um, yeah, but that's pretty much it. But I need y'all to stay tuned because I'm really up next. This is no lie. Yeah. Don't be DJ Self. Don't be oh, a DJ man. Self. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about, too. I'm calling him out. Don't yeah. be DJ Self. Let me tell you now. When y'all see a young female artist with art, like with talent. Yeah, you got talent. You definitely got talent. You. So when Thank you get you. on, don't, don't forget about futures. Right? I, you know I would never forget about it. It's my first real interview. Okay. And on top of that, like, you know, I'm only 20. Like, I'm coming up. But I'm going to tell y'all now. Don't sleep on me. Stop sleeping on a young artist because it only takes for the person that you're sleeping on, but you really like them, but everybody else don't like them, so you don't want to fuck with them because you're going to think, people going to think that you lame, my nigga. It only takes you and everybody else that don't want to fucking support, but they really like our music to fucking support, and then we on. Yeah, yeah. Damn. So, like, I mean, yo, it, it seems like you're getting a lot of support, though. I could like, be getting a lot of support, but I feel like I should have had more than I have, but it's just because I was inconsistent. Like, oh, yeah. I would post a freestyle, and then, like, you know, I just be busy, though. Like, I work, too. Like, I do a lot of shit. It's not like I just do that. But I also, you know, I grind. Like, I don't, what people see on Instagram is not what I do on a day. I do a lot of shit. Yeah. I got to tend to friends, family, music, work, like, God. Like, it's a lot of stuff I got to tend to. 
So, you know. But I'm up next, so stop fucking sleeping. I'm gonna need for you to wake the fuck up. I like that confidence for real though. Thank you. Definitely that. Uh, 